The team of Calypso divers is exploring the lagoon all around the island of New Caledonia, and we are everywhere meeting many snakes, poisonous snakes from many varieties, and uh, we suppose we are in the heart of poisonous snake country. Yes, I would say that you are. If we look at the total distribution of the sea snakes, we find that there's only one species, the yellow belly, that extends eastward to Panama. And then we, picked up, we pick up about 51 species here in the Indo-Pacific region, and many of these extend westward onto the Persian Gulf. But within the New Caledonia area, I would estimate that we have probably 30 to 40 species. Well, we meet so many snakes, that probably more snakes than there ever were, because the fishermen from New Caledonia told us that they were more rare in the past. And I wonder if this has anything to do with the tremendous pollution due to the industrialization of the island, because the marine animals in the lagoon are stuffed, choked by, by uh, deposits and poison, and uh, the sea snakes breathe air. They have lungs, they don't have gills. So I wondered if they could not resist better and take advantage of it. I think that this uh, has to do with the part of the overall uh, marine environmental pollution picture today, because we're finding that uh, many different uh, species, the more hardy ones, are tending to reproduce and become more abundant while the more delicate forms are gradually disappearing. And possibly this is the picture that you're finding here in terms of the sea snake. Reports on sea snakes from islanders have misled Cousteau divers and cameramen, now preparing to collect and classify the various species here. According to these reports, the venomous reptiles are unable to open their mouths wide enough to inflict bites on humans. You'll notice that the jaws of this snake can be widely distended so that they have no difficulty in circling a finger or a toe. Now the potency of the venom here is 10 times that of the king cobra. So it's a very dangerous poison. It acts both on the nervous system and it also tends to degenerate the muscles. Well, you know, we had a hard time trying to get the truth from the, the natives because there is so much superstition going on. Well, it's because of the superstition that uh, we do not have reliable data on what is really the incidence of uh, snake, sea snake poisoning. For example, if a pregnant woman is, uh, she talks about a sea snake, she feels that she may be bitten by one and die. If a fisherman talks about one, he knows these snakes may become very aggressive and kill him. <laughs> 